Okay, Ooh, we got lots of lots of stuff here, and we have lots of boxes, and I have a kitty cat on there. Whoops, to Daisy, it's okay. It's all right. That didn't scare you too bad, did it? So we'll just get started, and I'm gonna save this one for last. I think it's kind of extra cute. This one came by FedEx, and the one flap was kind of sort of open. Oh. It is, that's because I was opening it upside down. This one says, oh gosh, Sabrina T. Cat. Hey, this is one from, still from Sabrina. They really split the order up. So this is Sabrina T. Cat and Canton Cat, our, our good mama to, um, to Sabrina. Are you laying on my pen? And we got a case of Friskies. Sometimes what I think I'm going to do, like if Connie's on, I'm going to ask her to write down the name and the product for me and then email it to me. That might be kind of nice. We'll have an online secretary. So we got a case of the little bit. And, oh, this is the Gourmet Grill. So thank you, Sabrina. Gosh, you've been with us all week this week. That's cool. Very, very cool. Oh, now I hear you. It's okay. Nobody's bothering you. This one's from Amazon. That one's Amazon, and these two are Amazon. And this one is not. And it looks very interesting. And whoops, is that... When you guys send me emails, I try to match them up from the outside, so I don't, so I get things how you guys want them. I don't think I have very many, though, very many notes this time. Ooh, what is this? Oh, 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 yes, sir. Oh, this is from Quayside, and that would be um, Elaine's and Willis and this is still for Putter and his friends they split this order up too it looks like and I'm going to take these out of here you know we once a day we take um treat well we go out to Cat's Cove a lot but once a day we well, somebody goes out there and takes a one or two of these because there's 16 cats out there and um we just put them, the treaties here, there, and everywhere so that they have to look for them and find them or even find them during the night. So it's kind of fun to, to do that. And when they move up into Kitty City, uh, we do that as well in there also. So I know we use a lot of snackies here, but they like them. Thank you. Thank you so much, Quayside, Elaine, and Willis. We appreciate that. And these are the chicken flavor. I think the ones you sent the other day was chicken and cheese, I think. So thank you. And you know what's funny is a Miranda is up here. And that's my sister's cat. And I always give her a snack at night and she's staring at me really big. I should open the other old stuff first, Miranda. But we'll give her a few. Here, baby girl. There you go. I'm telling you, they, I think they've got me wrapped around their little little tails. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So thank you, Quayside. We appreciate that very, very much. Oh, everything is so used here. I've often said I'd like to keep track of how much candy we've put into the TLC drawer there for the volunteers. and. Back there, above where it says wash hands often, we keep things like um, crackers and chips and fruit snacks, things like that for them. And over the years, it's got to be a huge, giant pile of it. But then you turn around and you think about all the cat food that we've gone through. Must probably fit, fit inside a huge mountain. Okay, this, this Amazon is from Kentucky. Hi. Little kitty. There you go, guys. And 
I'm not sure if we got a tip. Uh oh, we don't have a tip on this one. Oh, this is with this perfectly chicken. I'm telling you, when I make my the meals for the kitties, I always try to add some of these with the with the chicken because they are loaded with juice. Yeah, these are nice. There's four of them in here. But I don't have a name. Does, does anybody know who these are from? Okay, yep. Carolina Ash says, who sent it? Okay, somebody maybe keep track of it and let me know, okay? So we can give our proper thanks for that. But that's uh, four cases of the, um, of the perfectly chicken. Now, see, I didn't. I made sure I shut the flap on that because that's one that uh, um, ornery girl Octavia nabs all the time. I don't even see her right now. This one is from the Amazon from Kentucky also, and I do see a slip right on top here kind of sort of the same stuff so maybe I'm not sure oh this is for hello Jackie for Putter and Friends this is from from Quayside I think we're gonna we're gonna get get stocked up finally on kitty Jackie's yeah you guys you got your snackies now Yeah, thank you, Quay. Oh, you know what? You got some of every flavor, didn't you? I'm going to leave the rest in the box so I make sure I do it in. I like to rotate everything. This one is the salmon flavor. Let's see what else you guys got. Yeah, this is from Quayside also. That was salmon. Um, do, 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 do. This is salmon. They make these in sardines. Salmon. And these are salmon. Thank you, Quayside. Thank you. The only thing could be better is I wonder, they should do that. They should make these in sardines. Uh, somebody had sent um, the kitties, you know, last month some sardine cans. That was supposed to be for the kitties. Remember a couple months ago when I got those three cases of sardines? Oh, those were the best. Those were really, really good. And I shared a few, just a few with the kitties because those, those were given to me. So, But I did share. So this morning, the ki well, then a couple weeks ago, the kitties got their own sardines. And um, I made them share a little piece with me. And then I drank a little bit of pop and it's like, oh, that didn't go good together. But I do love sardines. Okay, you guys. There's the boxes. Thank you, Quayside. This is great. And Putter does like his um, his whisker lickens. He should be an advertisement boy for it. Okay, this one is from Red Lion, Pennsylvania. And I don't have a name, but it's for FFRC. Oh, oh I didn't notice this. Look at what's on the back of it. Can you see that? It says King Putter. Isn't that cool? That's really neat. You know, I was watching him today when uh, that one fella was here to visit the kitties and his mom. And Putter, Putter is so funny. He just sits there and he stares at them. And, uh, He's just, he's just the best cat ever. Whoop. Oh, I probably better save the address. I always like to save stuff like that in case I ever need it. Okay, who's crying back there? Somebody be, not be hurting anybody. Who's crying? You know we got a lot of babies. There's a car.
card. Well, gee, really curse. All right, safe. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I'll show you the picture. This is from Red Lion in Pennsylvania. It says, Dear Jackie, I watch the cam. I love all the kitties. I do have a few fav favorites, but I would never love one more than another. They are all so special. I have only been watching for a few months now, and I love what you do. If I lived closer, I would adopt Weasley when he is ready to go. We love the orangey babies. We have a five and a half year old and old orange and white female. She is our little redhead. We love her so much. Oh, that's why your name then, Red Lion. I like that. I heard you say your mother taught you to always send a thank you. I always taught my kids the same thing. I truly believe in that. So here is my small way to say thank you for all you do. I hope these are okay. Bless you. A true kitty fan from Red Lion in Pennsylvania. Is, huh? You okay? Oops, well, I think I've already torn the box, so I'm just going to tear it and I'll have to put it in a different box. Oh, huh. Okay, these are the envelopes. Oh, you stamped the envelopes already, too? Oh, my gosh, I can't believe you did that, too. Oh, my golly. That is awesome. Where are these cards? Oh, do you remember this one was on, the, I think, the Flickr? Asha says, please vote. Can you see, can you see that? That's that one where... She would look like she was doing yoga. There's Asha. Oh, these are awesome. This is, oh my golly, this is really cool. This is when um, Jean, the rector, came for our um, uh, pet blessing, and Einstein was on his shoulder. I was so afraid he was going to poop on him. I mean, potty on him, I guess I should say. Oh, and there's, there's Putter, has cute pawsies. Oh, these are awesome. There's a patty in the scale. This one, oh, I remember these were all on the on the Facebook. It says, this kitty over here, I better make sure Jackie didn't throw out something important. I think it's Tilo in the trash. Biker chip, chick Bella, when we put that biker cap on Bella. Oh, and the, our cool... Um, Piggy bank or kitty bank, that one of uh, good luck. Becky put two quarters in for the next volunteer that cuts. Benito, Dugster with daddy, Patricia Ann with mommy. Aww. These are really awesome. They're all different. Here's one of them with the kitties in the wheel. Patty's on watch. Where did everyone go? Did you, oh. The Sheriff Putter. These are awesome. There's Twinkle. And look at that. Twinkle's our star. Sarah. Now this. Oh, there's another one of my Sarah girl. Uh, these are really cool. <laughs> this one comes with a free trial size. I know that one. That's probably the only one not taken here, but it's got on there. Could this be Farrah and Hudson? <laughs> yeah, except Farrah would have knocked Hudson off. But I remember this one, too. This was on the uh, Facebook. You know our treat tower? The kitties was getting their heads in there. It says he did not read the directions. Thank you. This is really, really awesome. I love this. Thank you so much. 
And that's from Red Lion in Pennsylvania. I do. I, I use a lot of thank you notes. And uh, I, d I do. I believe that it's important to make sure I thank everybody the right way. And uh, like a lot of the email things that I get, I, I try to respond through the email. But I do send a lot of cards out. Thank you so much. I really, really, really like this. This is cool. Thank you. And thank you, Quayside also, or yeah, Quayside also for the for the goodies for the kitties. And did anybody find uh, who sent? Um, which one was that? The case of uh, Fancy Feast was it? Nope, that was from that was from uh, Sabrina T. Oh no, I'm sorry, the case of chicken. The perfectly chicken, yeah, Nikki. Does anybody know? No takers on that? Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Well, whoever sent it, we love it. The cats love it, and I like to make food with them. I also got this today, and this is for Friends of Felines, and it's from... Oh, this is from our friends who adopted Bonita, I think. I think, I think... Oh, that darn cake. Definitely need a new blade. But I have some. I just have to do it. Here we go. Where are you going? Where are you going, my little friend? Aww. Yeah, this is from Neil and Anna Marie. Remember they adopted... Um, Bonita, but they named her uh, Vixen. It says, Dear Jackie, and, and, you know, they're from Missouri. They traveled, what was that, four hours, I think, one way to get here. It says, I want to thank you and all the volunteers for the angelic work that you do every day. Vixen slash Vicky slash Bonita Victoria Shep, yeah, remember the Shep, has turned out to be such a great companion. Next to Anna Marie and my daughter, Aw, oh, she is the love of my life. Oh, that's so nice, Neil. She follows me around the house like a little puppy dog and brings me her toy mice to share. I throw her toy mice and she retrieves them and drops them at my feet to be thrown and retrieved again. She never seems to tire of this game. She is my ivory retriever. Oh, I like that. Poor kitten. I guess I have spent too much time, too much of my life around dogs. Happy holidays with much love and respect, Neil. Vicky's Butler <laughs> and Anna Marie. And then it says, note from Vicky to Jackie. This guy that you found for me is a pushover. I have wrapped, uh, I have him wrapped around my paw. I made him write a check to help defer some of the expense of connecting my exquisite Victoria's Secret to the public sewer system. <laughs> now it is truly worth, worthy of my name. If you ever need cash, just contact me. I really am a vixen, and I can separate him from his wallet anytime I want. Every time I purr, I get a new toy or anything else I want. All I have to do is bring him a toy mouse now and then. Aw, oh, Vicky, Vixen, Bendita, Victoria, Chef. Remember, they weren't sure. Um, you are an awesome kitty, and you got yourself some good parents. You got a good mama and papa there. Thank you so much, and thank you for your donation to the Rescue Center. I love these letters. I'm telling you, I love them, and I save them. I have a notebook that I put in anything like this in. It's kind of fun on busy days that are, well, I shouldn't say busy days, days that are, I just need to pick me up. All I have to do is look in that notebook, and that, that does it for me. Thank you so very much. Um, you know, tonight I had some things written down to go over, but I think with your questions, uh, I'll answer all the things I was going to go over, so I'm just going to put mine on hold for a minute. Um, Cindy Lou, who asked how Jazzy is, you know, I think she, she Jazzy's old, you know, for a great day, and she, she is getting, um, she's getting up there, I think she's eight. And she came here as a very, very, very sick uh, young dog. Well, not so young. I think she was three then, maybe. I'm not sure. But she was very sick. But right from the beginning, right from the get-go, her hips were bad. And um, she just progressively has more trouble. We've got her on medicines and things, but 
yesterday on my way home, I'd gotten a call that said she was um, drooling and kind of disoriented and uh, pacing and just whining. So um, Stacy called me about it. So I told her what to give her, and she did. And by the time I got home, she had settled down a little, but you could tell her hips hurt. So then last night, you know, someone called me and told me that she was still whining. And she just wasn't right. She's still been off a little today. But I think she's a little bit better today. She's due for her evening meds here when I give Sarah hers. So hopefully we'll, we'll she'll get through the night and feel a little bit better than tomorrow. Um, can't, someone asked how Kurt was doing. Several people asked, so I didn't write all the names down. Kurt's doing better. His headache is better. He has like a pinched nerve in his neck that's really bothering his arm and, and right in here. But, and, he's, and he's got a cold now, but he's, he's going to be okay. He'll be all right. He's out at the hardware store right now getting some more wood for Kitty City. Um, and Beth asked if anyone plays with the dogs. Well, we walk the dogs. Um, they're not really play with toy type doggies. I put, uh, they have toys in there all the time, but it's rare that they ever pick them up. There, someone had sent, remember those brown uh, monkey braid things now they like that I thought do they like those um but we walk the dogs and um they're not they don't really like go fetch remember Jazzy's old and Cammy is nine so they're kind of past the um the toy stage and Janie all she has eyes for is Jazz she loves Jazzy um Kitty Cam asked me about Kellen and Kellen had surgery today on her ear she's got it done uh, they were home by 10 o'clock. They ended up not taking a culture behind her ear. She did get the tube in because it looked pretty good behind there. So hopefully Monday she'll get her pick line out. So And I hope that that never comes back for her again. Um, Canton Cat, Cat, and... Oh, dear. I'm sorry, Melinda. Come here, honey. It's okay, hon. You want to go back up? Okay. I stepped on your little toe, didn't I? Um, let me grab my one paper here. It's okay, Bajo. Uh, I'm just going to name these real fast so you guys know. These are the ones that's going to have surgery tomorrow. Zany, my cat in the house, I'm finally going to be able to get her done. So Zany's mine, but all the rest of these are FFRC cats. It's Adora, Amara, Cassie, Chia. These are all girls. Gemini, Nebraska, Noble, Rizzo, Shasta, Wonder, Nuki, CJ, Shale, Sage, Kozo, Zoom, those are all the girls. Tugger has to have just a physical. I need to have a new physical on him. And then the boys are Dolphy, Hudson, Marvel, Noogie, Takako, Wiggle, and Claudius. So then Canton Cat asks, how long does each spay take? Well, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 phase, 6, 7, 7 castrations. So this is kind of sort of what I'm thinking. Dr. Cindy's going to be ready to go at 9 o'clock. She has to do a physical on every kitty. That's probably going to take 30, 35 minutes, 35, 40 minutes to do that many physicals. And then... Um, We'll immediately start on the boys. So I'm kind of thinking by 10:15 we'll be done with all the boys, and then we'll probably have the first girl ready to go at 10:30. So if we start the girls at 10:30, let's say if we really push hard and really prepared and right on the top of everything, and do three phases an hour, that's really pushing it. But Cindy's done it. So from what is that then? I said 10, 30, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. If she stays till 3.30, we can do, <clears throat> that's 5 hours. See, that's only 15 days.
so we'd have to do two more in there. Plus, she's got to do the physical on Tugger and um, some vaccinations on one of our cats that belong uh, to a volunteer. So it's going to be a long, long, long day and a fast-paced day, and um, I hope we can get them all done. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys informed tomorrow. Um, I don't know. That's a lot to ask. Um, Nuki asked how Remo is doing. <clears throat> Remo had kind of a rough night last night. I kept him in there with me till I'm not really sure what time it was anymore. 11:30, midnight, 12:30. I I don't really know. He he was just so restless and kind of moany and but he's doing a whole lot better. And this morning I fed him probably it was about 4:45. He ate and then he ate a second breakfast and then he ate mid morning and. He's doing really well. I put him in the litter box and he will potty now, so we're getting enough nutrition in him. Um, but he's very uncoordinated yet. He hasn't figured out that he can walk without that back leg. So he's had so many changes. I mean, his life has just turned upside down in the last, what, 48, 72 hours. So he's doing okay. He's actually sleeping really quietly right now. But I'll get him out here in a minute and show him to you. Um, Stinky had also asked about Remo. Um, Skeetokins asked where you can get the cat bed. I think uh, if you're asking about these, the marshmallow, what we call the marshmallow beds, um, Doctors Fosters and Smith sells those. These are the 17 inch beds and I'm telling you the cats love them. And when we put these in the dryer to poof them up, they'll stand right tall, that tall up again and then the cats squish them down. But if you're talking about these beds, uh, the flower beds, um, those come from, it's a, oh, oh, what is that? It's a cat furniture, lake, lake something cat furniture. I think we have it in our website somewhere, but if, if that's what you're talking about, these, if you email me and tell me, I'll, I'll get it to you. I'll get that email address to you. Uh, and for Doctors Fosters and Smiths, you can just uh, get in your computer and look that up, and it, they'll bring it up. Carolina Ash asked about Steve and his surgery. We still don't know, um, but we did finally get the letter from Workman's Comp that yes, he has to have that third uh, doctor's opinion, which we know that we're supposed to have that letter to tell us when the appointment is by probably the middle of next week. This is such a long, drawn-out affair. And then from there, we go there. They do think that they will approve it, but they have to, formalities say they have to have the third opinion. Uh, Carso14 asked if Jeepers is on hold. Jeepers is on hold, and that was that uh, fella today that I did give a pamphlet to. Yeah, KB asked about that guy with the pamphlet. That is the one that is looking at Jeepers. He was interested in Badu, but we're not doing Badu for him. Uh, but he really likes Jeepers, so he'll let me know in the next few days, couple days. Uh, CatTreeFurniture.com. That's it. Thank you, Wildfire. Um, so, I, if he, if he takes Jeff Jeepers, he's going to be a really well taken care of kitty. Wildfire asked about Zuby and Danelle. I only heard once yet the lady brought the um, pet carrier back. And the very next day, and I was a little, little um, surprised. She said that Danelle is doing fine, just fit right in, acted like no problem. But um, Zuby had a couple potty accidents, and Zuby never had that here. So it's probably just a little bit of stress. She is so nice. She was willing to work with it, and um, and I told her, gotta let me know if there's a problem. To so please, please let me know. So she hasn't recontacted me, so I'm I'm assuming that everything is okay now. Uh, Zuby and Danelle was eating and they were playing, and it, I just had a feeling that Zuby just had a rough day and didn't know what to do. Um, but she was going to be spending more time with them, and I I'm hoping that that will work out. Carmela asked how Bella is doing. Bella is doing awesome. I could not be more pleased with her surgery, uh, and, and I think a lot of it is is because of the post-op care that we did. You know, we were very careful that she stayed well padded, and then we started breaking that down where she had some harder surface and yet some gentle surface, 
and toughened up that area and now she's out and about she's back to normal and I told Dr. Pettigrew yesterday when I picked Remo up that he did a superb job on that he just did awesome Anuki uh, asked too how Racer is doing and he's, he's going to survive <laughs> he does a lot, an awful lot of things for us he's got to uh, Nika Ross Nika Ross asked how oh Bumblebee and CJ are doing CJ is not in Patience's pen anymore. Um, we've got her out and about, and she she usually is back there. Actually, I think I see her right now in the kitty campus room, and she's doing pretty good. She's a little shy, but oh my, so much much better. And Bumblebee came out on her own this morning out of uh, Patience's pen, and there's no going back for her. She's She's just here, there, and everywhere now. The first hour or two, she kind of grumbled and growled at everybody, but she's fine. She's she's just fine. It's just like she's not left before. Um, Larray asked if I've heard any more from Yo Jimbo, and I haven't now for a while. I think I got all those, and I had a couple more here. Um, just wanted to tell you, Kurt is working on... Um, the shelves and right now what he's doing at the hardware store he's getting some plywood that he's going to be making these um, like bo box beds for the kitties they'll be kind of smallish so they can kind of feel comfortable in there and then he'll make it where the flaps the sides open up so we can reach in there uh, nicely and clean them uh, I think it's going to be maybe like a pyramid style so they can jump up and get in them. And then he'll make some individual ones also so we can just put them like on the tables and things that we have out there. So it's going to be so nice when we move those kitties up. I'm hoping that you'll have things done by the 14th, which is a week from Monday, because um, the weather's probably going to start getting nasty then, so we'll want them up. Uh, Jody, bless her heart has agreed to come in tomorrow morning. I'm doing breakfast, but then she's going to do the cleaning stuff for me. And Jody, or Judy S. is also coming in to help me with the big batch of surgery kitties uh, so we can get them all ready. And then Badu, I was just going to talk to you about Badu. You know, I, we just love her here, and she has improved so much. But um, she, still ha she still reverts back to her biting and scratching. She, she is declawed in the front. Hi, Badu. And, uh, but her back, back toenails have claws in there. Um, I'm, I'm feeling a little concern about adopting her out. And, and, uh, the reason for that is, is because I am fully aware that she has bitten over the time that she's been here. And I can sympathize with her because I know what her past is and I feel for her big time. And I love her and all of us love her in spite of, in spite of these things that she does. We love Badu. But um, I'm feeling a sense of responsibility that because I'm fully aware of how fast her behavior can change, I don't want to put her in a situation where she is going to bite. The people that was um, here today was very interested in Badu, but the lady was petting her, and was, Badu was being like how she is with us when we pet her, just real sweet. But you have to read Badu all the time. You have to be fully aware of her ears, her whiskers, her eyes, her body posture, because she'll turn just like that. She'll be real sweet, nice, and then wham, she strikes out at you. And when she does, it's full mouth bite. So um, it makes me very nervous. And that's what she did to this lady today. So they didn't want to adopt her because, because of that. You know, people come into their homes, children might come in, and people can get bit. People do get bit by her. My worry is that what if we adopted her out to a home, they got angry with her, and they just tossed her out. Or they got angry with her, and they put her... Yeah, in a shelter where she would be in a pen. I can't imagine that happening to Badu. That would be a horrible thing to have happen to her. Or, or because of their angry, uh, their being angry at Badu that they just stuck her outside. You know, I don't want that for Badu. 
Um, I'm also on the same note, Larry, about her here because we have a lot of people that come in here. The volunteers are learning to read her and to be um, on alert with her. But we just like today, this lady was petting her, and um, she she snapped out like that. And my worry is the children and the kids that come. I see somebody asked about Badu, um, or excuse me, about Cat's Cove. She would be absolutely miserable in Cat's Cove. The cats that are out there, as most of you know, those are very, very dominant cats out there. That's why they're out there. And she has some dominance, but she would be um, she would be in their face. I, I mean, I know her personality. She would be in their faces all the time. And I'm afraid that that her anxiety level would would rise. And I don't think that she is going to be a happy camper out there at all. And I'm afraid it would cause a lot of um, stress for the other cats. So. And in thinking of what we are going to do, because I cannot chance people coming in here and me not being everywhere in every second and somebody get bit. Because not only is bad for the person, I feel bad for Badu being in that position, but I also worry about liability. You know, I don't, I don't want that to happen. I don't want to have to be on guard every minute for her. So there are so maybe the solution is there are a couple a couple rescues that I know of that that they're they're cat rescues for um, cats that are unhappy the cats that are like Badu and these rescues they don't adopt out these these rescues handle these cats they know how to handle them they are treated superbly well and um, they have a forever home in that rescue. They're different, they're rescues, but they're different in that they don't adopt them out. These cats go there with the intentions of living there, um, but it's in a home-like atmosphere. There's couches, the, the one especially that I know of, it's like a home. There's couches, there's chairs, there's TV, there's music, um, cushies. It's a very, very, very nice atmosphere for the kitties. So, um, who said that? Severin, you're absolutely right. It's like a specialty um, shelter for these particular cats. Um, so I am going to look into that and see what we can do for, for Badu. Um, there's probably going to be people that will criticize me out there for making that decision, but the bottom line is I have to think of the overall uh, happiness of Badu and the overall safety of um, people here. So I just want what's best for Badu. I want her to be as happy as she can be. She's progressed big time here and um, I love her and I want the best for her and that's why I'm going that extra mile for her. So um, I'll keep you informed on what we're doing with Badu. Uh, the only thing that I think I didn't have a question on was our new kitty. Uh, her name is Cessna, or yes, her name is Cessna. She kind of looks like a mini um, Wiggles, except her face, instead of any white, is all tiger. And she was just found at uh, our, our airport, but when I say our airport, it's like a tiny little airport. There's just, it's just a little bit airport. But Lisa that works here, her husband Steve works at the airport, and they found this little kitty there. Um, she's awfully cute. Uh, she's a tiger white. I'll bring her out tomorrow. We might move her in here tomorrow um, after all the surgeries are done because I'm going to need some of these pins in here. But she's really sweet and oh my gosh, all you have to do is just touch her and she purrs and purrs and purrs. Today when I was drawing, um, uh, Judy S. was holding her for her blood sample and when I was drawing her blood before that she was purring and purring and when I poked her with the needle she stopped and the second I pulled it out, purr, purr, purr. So she's got an awesome personality, just absolutely awesome. But Cessna is her name, and as you all know, that, that is the uh, name of a plane. So since she was found at the airport, we thought that that was appropriate. So um, I think that that's all that I have. And I'll just check real quick, see if there's anything else extra you guys have questions on. Oh, 
About Twinkle? Yes, Twinkle was... Twinkle did not eat real good last night. <laughs> um, missing a box? Are you saying I'm missing a box? That I didn't open? She did not eat, and um, but this afternoon and this evening she's been eating like a blooming pig again. We did give her a little raglan injectable and raglan. It's just a little shoddy under the threw up, and I thought, well, maybe maybe her tummy's upset for some reason. So it was shortly after that that she did um, start eating again. This got knocked over onto the floor, so I missed it. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, this is from Cindy and Dave, isn't it? This is what, this is a Meg light. Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. Um, <laughs> this is what those 3D batteries was for yesterday. Oh, uh, I will treasure this, and I will keep this for all my outside adventures I have to do. I'm telling you, all I had, I don't know why I just didn't invest in a better light, flashlight, but I've been using this little dinky thing that just about spits light out, nothing more than that. And when I have to run out to see what that noise is or where did that meow come from or whatever, I'm out there shining with this tiny little thing. So, Dave and Cindy, thank you. This will get me to be able to see a whole lot more. Thank you. This is awesome. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Okay, if there's nothing else, I think we're done. I'm going to hit the stack because tomorrow's going to be a huge, busy day. Oh, can we see Weasley? Everybody loves Weasley. And Weasley, you're eating again. Oh, jeez. You kitties, you got to move your toys. Oh, you. No wonder you whining. Weasley had his face in the food dish. Say hi, everybody. I love you guys. Oh, stop. This little guy, he, it, like today I was working, and he just runs right up, sits on my foot, and starts meowing. I think we spoiled him. Simply awful, but hey, that's okay. That's what kitties are for. Hey, and while, while I'm right here, look who's here. Curled up in the monkey bed. Bumblebee. You know, she's just fit right back in. She's done really well. Aren't you? Good girl. Weasley, that's for Bumblebee. No, you got to go back in your room. So, the one night I did leave these four babies out, and then last night, um, who was it? Tasco was trying to eat them, I told him. So, it looks like you're trying to eat this little baby. So, I put them in a room, in their, their cat's corner room. Okay, come on. Everybody, yep, it was indeed a flashlight. Cool. I'm gonna get those batteries and put those in tonight. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. My other battery, my other flashlight was like this big. This is big time improvement. Thank you, Cindy and Dave. Okay, we gotta put this away. Hey, and you kitties better all sleep good tonight, cause you got busy day tomorrow. Busy, busy day tomorrow.